Let us now learn what is the meaning of doubling a vector or tripling a vector. Basically, we are going to learn what happens when you multiply a vector by a number. I have this vector p. I am going to double it. What does double mean? I am going to take the same thing and duplicate it. So now I am going to start here and end there. I get a longer vector which I will call as q vector. What should q vector be called? Well, it is 2 times p vector. So we say q vector is 2 times p vector. What does that mean? The length of q vector is double of the length of p vector. This is p vector. This q vector's length is 2 times p vector's length. And the direction of p vector and the direction of q vector, they are the same. Let us look at a vector and b vector. When I say that b vector is 2 times a vector, it means the length of b vector is 2 times the length of a vector. b equals 2a. b vector is equal to 2a vector means b is equal to 2a. The magnitude of b is equal to 2 times the magnitude of a. And that's not alone enough, okay? The direction of b and the direction of a, they are the same. So b cap is equal to a cap. Both of these are needed. Only if both are true, you can say b vector is 2 times a vector. Now let me look at these two vectors. Okay, Let me say that that is called p vector and this is called q vector. The length of p vector is 4. The length of q vector is 12. Are they pointing in the same direction? Yes, they are in the same direction. So we can say the direction of q vector, q cap, is the same as the direction of p vector, p cap. Right? The directions are the same. But are the magnitude same? No. This is 4, this is 12. So that means q vector has 3 times the magnitude of p vector. q equals 3p magnitude wise. So if I take p vector and place it here, then again place one more copy and one more copy, I will get q vector. So p, 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 3p vector gives me q vector. So we can say that q vector is equal to 3 times p vector. What is the meaning of this? It means that the magnitude of q vector is 3 times the magnitude of p vector. 12 is 3 times 4, right? And the directions are the same. Let me emphasize the fact that the directions must be the same. This is a very, very important point, okay? You can't just say that magnitude 3 times, so they must be 3 times the vector. q vector is equal to 3p vector because the magnitude is thrice. That is not enough. The directions must be the same. Let us now look at p vector and turn it around. If I turn it around, that means p vector and q vector don't have the same direction. They have the same magnitude. But this is p vector direction, that is q vector direction. The directions are not the same. The magnitudes are the same. So can you then say q vector can be written as something times p vector? No. Q vector cannot be written in terms of p vector just by a multiplying factor. Why? Because if you multiply p vector by k, you will get something in the direction of p vector. Whereas q vector is not in the direction of p vector. So we cannot express q vector in terms of p vector. Okay? To be able to write q vector is k times p vector, what do we need? We need them to have the same direction. Okay? Now look at these two. They have the same direction p cap is equal to q cap, right? So these two have the same direction. Now I can look at q vector and say, ah, q vector must be something times p vector. What is the length of p vector? 4. Length of q vector is 10. Can I take p vector and place two of them? No, that won't be enough. But I can look at the length. 4 into 2.5 is 10, right? 4 into 2.5 is 10. So you can say that q vector is 2.5 times p vector in magnitude. So that means q vector is 2.5 p vector. The magnitude of q vector is 2.5 times p and the direction is the same. So we can say q vector is 2.5 times p vector. So we are multiplying p vector with 2.5 to get q vector. What is the meaning of this? This fellow's length is 2.5 times that fellow's length and the directions are the same. Because they have the same direction, we can express q vector in terms of p 
p vector. Now look at this. Q vector is smaller than p vector. Can I still write Q vector in terms of p vector? Yes, you can. Let us look at the directions. The directions are the same. And if this was 4 and this is 2, you can say that Q magnitude is half of p magnitude. So Q magnitude is half of p magnitude, 0.5 times p. So then I can write Q vector is 0.5 times p vector. 0.5 times p vector, you can write it as half p vector. Sometimes instead of writing it as half p vector, we write it as p vector by 2. So what is the meaning of p vector by 2? It just simply means half p vector. Okay. So again you see that q vector is written in terms of something times p vector. Whenever you want to write q vector as something times p vector, it is possible if they have the same direction. And we saw that k can be greater than 1, it can be less than 1. You might be thinking but we are using only positive multiplying numbers, right? Can we have k negative? Yes, that is also possible as we will soon see.